Our limited edition Mary Lloydmas t-shirt is officially back and it's on our new t-shirt home at bonfire.com. From now until December 13th, bring the gift of the cinema snob in Lloyd into your home in t-shirt form by visiting bonfire.com slash snob dash Xmas. Unlike the Lady and the Tramp remake, our shirt will leave this Siamese very pleased. Wait a minute, we're continuing with these Marvel movies? Why would you do that when you already had a perfectly good bummer ending with Infinity War? Leave the audience sad! It's how they learn a thing or two about life. Plus, Thanos was right. I should buy a farm. Well, since most of them came back in Endgame, I guess it makes sense that we continue the adventures of the Endgame survivors. And the Endgame Fallen, apparently, unless we're going by the fanscription of what if Black Widow lived in Endgame. That's a version I'm going with. I got to play Captain America in that one. Chris Evans may be America's ass, but I'm Turkey's ass for some reason. This new Black Widow trailer better give me enough originality to make any of this matter. This spy thriller seems like the kind of trailer that will open with an aerial shot from another country. None of this matters. But in prequels, I guess nothing lasts forever, even death. But nothing lasts forever. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Never mind me predicting lines here. How is Scarlett Johansson in this movie when we as a society already demanded her cancellation? Why isn't my cancellation working? <laughs> If you look at what's trending, it's half love for Black Widow, half hate for ScarJo. When are movie producers going to learn that people are sitcoms and should be immediately banished for having an episode I don't like? After all, no one, and I mean no one, has the ability to separate actors from characters like Marvel fandom. Actually, that's less of a Marvel fandom thing, and more of an adult thing. Thankfully, I'm cancel culture, so I'm not an adult. Oops, sorry. Like most other people complaining, I forgot there was a movie here. This one appears to refilm establishing shots from Iron Man. I bet she's done running from her past. I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. That's right. Her shame of thinking incorrectly in interviews. Let us dictate your thoughts and life choices, Scarlet. For we are complete strangers. At least my fanfiction is finally coming to life. We are one step closer to my Skinamax style parody, The Porn Identity. I bet that's her sister and that they have unfinished business. It's good to see you too, sis. We have unfinished business. Mm, they've yet to finish a game of electronic battleship that they started when they were 12. Also, she's a stormtrooper now, and I'm fairly certain they face off against Hellboy. <laughs> Still fits. <laughs> My mistake, he's Russian the Flash. You got fat. I met Russian Thor. Say hello to next year's Out of Shape cosplay. I will also be accepting that he's Russian Mr. Incredible. I think this is a little late for a Thanksgiving movie. Back together again. Who are any of you? I don't know what this movie's about except for the plot that's laid out in the trailer, but it is a great way to kill time before watching the trailer for the new James Bond movie. At least I'm leaving knowing the title. Whoa, you want to talk about unnecessary remakes? What does any of this have to do with the Deborah Winger, Teresa Russell thriller from 1987? That seemed less like a story and more of a collection of every action movie trailer line ever. It was just missing an appearance from I should have killed you when I had the chance and uh, welcome to the big leagues. We'll see in May of 2020 whether or not it contains a see you in hell. You first. By the way, this trailer review contained spoilers. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.